at the march we sang the song Batinti Bafasi, which says, uh, Stridum, you've struck a rock. You've struck the woman, you've struck a rock, you'll die. I always thought that I'll go into education, into teaching, but I also noticed around me the poverty of our people in the community. There were all these laws that were impacting on the lives of women that prevented them from moving around freely. And so that day we entered the Holy Grail and it was like us being cheeky. We have dared to enter that domain. Sophia williams Brain was the youngest woman who led the Women's March on the Union Building. And we were really looking for a portrait that showed that absolute dignity and significance of that day. There was a plan that if the police did come, the 20,000 women would bend down and pray and they would have had to arrest everybody. They came in that disciplined manner and then they marched gracefully up those steps of the Union Building. And I felt a lump in my throat when I looked at this large army of women, dignified women, courageous women. And in my younghood, I felt so humbled to be part of such bravery. I, I don't think words can express how I feel about that time and now, and, and I think women today, wherever they are working, I think the women of that era opened the way for them. Face up slightly towards the light. I think the portrait itself revealed the courage, the commitment and the dignity that these women showed in 1956. Yes, we've come a long, long way and we never thought but we always hoped that things will turn out the way they turn out for the betterment of women and of the country and of the nation. Thank you.